In this video, we are going to understand the how to use images in the HTML documents and we will be dealing with uh, multiple examples. So this is going to be the first example that we are going to discuss. Likewise, this is going to be the second one, the third one and the fourth one. So if you look at this particular example, what we have done here is if I zoom it out for you. So at the bottom, you can see that some content is written here. If you follow my mouse pointer, I have highlighted it. So likewise on the top, you can see some text is there and some images also there. So if we look at the source code for this particular example or this particular web page, what we are going to do is we are going to see how to work with inline images. That means giving the images within the text of the document. Now here, what you can see, we have given this particular text and inside that only we have given the image tag also at this particular point at this particular location. So whatever the content is there, whatever text is there before the image tag that will be displayed like this. And then the image will be displayed followed by the remaining text like here at the bottom, you can see this one. Likewise, this is another example of using the image inside the text only. And if you look at the source code, what we have done is uh, inside the body tag, we have written this text. And after that, uh, we have used a paragraph and inside that paragraph, we have displayed the image. And this is basically the name of the image, which is it ha which has been taken from this particular folder. Uh, and they have to be separated with this slash. So this is the way of writing the basically the syntax of uh, how do we fetch the location of any particular image. And further after the ending the paragraph, we have given this particular text. So if you look at the output, so this is the content that we have written in the beginning of the image. Then inside the paragraph tag, we have uploaded this image. And after that, this is the remaining content which have been inserted after the end of the paragraph like this. Likewise, so this is going to be basically the output of the, uh, if you are using paragraph for the image. Likewise, this is another example of how do we add uh, the images inside the text. So if you look at the source code here, what you can find is this is the text. Then this is the image basically and followed by this remaining text. So if we compare this particular example with uh, the previous one here, what you can see is we have added the image with SRC, basically the image source. Likewise, here also the image was added with only one attribute, which was image source. If you look at this particular example, what you will find is more attribute is over there, over there, like title is also there and alternate is also there. Like alternate will work if the image is not uh, uh, available at this particular location or you know, the browser is not able to fetch for any reason that particular image. Like uh, here I have written the name of the image and if there is a spelling mistake inside here or you know the image is not present at that particular location so basically the browser is not able to pick the uh, image so this particular message that we have written in the alt that means alternative so what is the other alternative in that scenario so this particular message will be displayed and here we have used one more attribute which says title to which says a pointing finger title basically will display the name uh, or basically will display this particular message when we hover our mouse pointer over that image. So here now you can, if you follow my mouse pointer, I have bought my mouse pointer here. And if I just stop it somewhere, so the name is displayed, that particular message is displayed that a pointing finger. So that is done with the help of this title attribute that we have added inside the image tag. Likewise, if you would add any other message here, so the message will change accordingly. Likewise, this is another example here. What you can see is we have added two images inside the document and we have added uh, some content also. If I would just highlight it, this is the content, then this is the image. This is the content, this is the image and this is the remaining content. And this, if I zoom it out for you, so you can see the content clearly. Like this is the content followed by the images. If we look at the source code for this particular thing, this is the code that we have written. So inside the body tag, we have given four sentences. Basically, we are not using any tags like no line breaks, no paragraphs. So the entire thing will be uh, assumed by the web browser to be a part of a single sentence. And here, so this will be the content which will be displayed in the beginning. And along with this, because this is also the text only, 
and here this is the first image that will be visible and alternative if the image is not being fetched by the web browser so this particular message will be displayed likewise this is another text that will be displayed between both the images and this is the way to add the second image and the alternate and the title according to that so here you can see that we have changed the title for this particular image like tom and jerry so if we hover the mouse pointer over that image and uh, so here you can see like the star image if i hover my mouse point over here and wait for some time no message is displayed like, because we have not used the title for that likewise this is the tom and jerry one and if i just hover my mouse point over here you can see that the title tom and jerry is getting displayed because we have used this particular attribute here for the same